load the datum example file example data.tdm in order to follow this tutorial. This tutorial will use the script recording mode to calculate and generate power as a channel from the channel's RMS and speed. The channel power units will be converted to kilowatts, and then descriptive statistics will then be calculated on the channel power to get the RMS value. Activate the script panel. Clear the script workspace by choosing the menu file, new workspace. In the data portal, delete every channel group except for the channel group named example. Set the channel group example as the default channel group. Delete the channel speed and power so that the only channels remaining are time, RPM, and torque. In the script panel, click in the recording mode toolbar and set the file reference option to absolute path. Click the configure recording mode dialog OK button. The recording mode non-modal dialog will appear. Activate the analysis panel by clicking on it. From the basic menu, choose the channel multiply function. The multiply function will be used to multiply the channel's RPM and torque, creating a new channel power. In the data portal, drag and drop the RPM channel into the dialog multiply channel control labeled first channel. Drag and drop the torque channel from the data portal to the dialog multiply channel control labeled other channels. Click the calculate button and then the close button. In the data portal, rename channel multiplied to power. Activate the script panel and review the VB script code added by the recording mode. In the data portal, note that the unit for power is not kilowatts. The multiply function doesn't support quantity-based calculations like other commands such as calculate. We will fix that by using another analysis function named scale. The recording mode should still be on. Click on the analysis panel and then select the menu basic and scale. In the data portal, select the channel power and drag and drop it into the scale dialog channel control labeled channel. The factor in the dialog multiplies the channel values by a constant and the offset adds or subtracts and offset from the channel values. Enter the constant of 0 0.37704 into the factor text box. Enable the checkbox labeled store result in original channel. Click the calculate button and then the close button. Activate the script panel and observe the new code added by the recording mode. The channel values for the channel power are now in kilowatts, but the unit symbol for the channel is incorrect. In the data portal, click on the channel power, and then in the channel properties window, find unit, click on the unit value, and then click on the dot 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 button to edit the unit for power. Click no button in response to the warning message. The channel unit symbol input tool dialog will appear. Click on the drop-down box to the right of quantity and select power. Under the list box units, select the kilowatts option. Click the replace button and the dialog will close and the units for the channel power will be updated to kilowatts. Activate the script panel and review the script commands added. Note that no additional commands were added to the script for the unit conversion. This is an example of when the recording mode fails to capture the commands necessary to convert the channel units. The only way to correctly assign the unit of kilowatts to the channel power in a script is to add the script code as shown. The final step will be to calculate descriptive statistics on the channel power. With the recording mode still on, activate the analysis panel. Choose the analysis menu, statistics, descriptive statistics. In the data portal, select the channel power and then drag and drop it to the dialog into the channel control to the right of the label channels. Configure the characteristic values one tab to have only the following checkboxes checked. Root mean square. Click on the result storage tab and ensure the checkbox store results in channels is not checked. Click the Calculate button and then the Close button.
activate the script panel and observe the code added to the script by the recording mode. Turn off the recording mode by clicking on the Disable Recording Mode button on the Recording Mode dialog. Test the script by deleting the channel power and then running the script by clicking on the Script Panel toolbar Run Script. In the written tutorial, a VB script template is provided to assist you in the generation of your own scripts. The script will process a file loaded in the data portal or each file specified by the navigator search results. In either case, the function B process data portal is called input channels are identified and a datum analysis function is performed. If the navigator search results are being processed, then the file will be saved before the next file from the search results is processed.